Hello, and welcome to the Kony One version 5.0 introductory video series. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a soap service with inside the Kony Studio. So, the first thing we're going to do is select File. We're going to open up a new application. So we'll call this the Kony Soap um, Service. This creates uh, the application with a bunch of different components. One of those components is our services. So here's where you can create service definitions for a wide range of different technologies. Everything from XML to SOAP services right down to JSON services. So for the web service SOAP uh, part, we'll right click on that and we'll hit the web services SOAP. This is going to open up our SOAP definition. We'll right click on the web services and hit add web service whistle. First thing we're going to do for is we'll create a name. We'll include a URL to the corresponding whistle. And if it needed to, you could pass along a username and password information if credentials are required. Go ahead and hit OK. This uh, studio is going to pull in that service definition and um, generate the corresponding API calls that can be made through this service. We're going to select the Retrieve Location service. We'll right click it and hit Add. Now, this is going to add it to a selected service. These are the ones that we've selected from this overall uh, service to be used. Now, the Retrieve Location service is a service that will allow you to pass in some information and get back a list of doctors. You can see here it defines a service ID, where that endpoint is, um, other corresponding information. You can see here down below, we'll actually expand this out, um, that here is the response information. And then there's a tab once you've executed the query to get back your response. So here's the request. Now you can see there's a wide range of parameters you can pass in with this service. We're not going to pass all of them in today. We're just going to pass a few. So for the ones that are optional, all you have to do is just remove the question mark as an entry for each of those nodes. We'll do that. The ones we are going to include are the maximum distance. In this case, we'll call this DIST. Now, for each parameter we're passing in, we'll include a dollar sign that represents to the studio that this is a parameter that we're passing in a value for. We'll also specify a return count number of rows we want to return. And the last thing we're going to pass in is going to be the zip code, which is right here. Again, dollar sign zip code. So now on the right hand section here, this is where you can define a bunch of parameters. If you need to pass in HTTP header information, you can set those IDs up here. Um, we're going to set up those input parameters. Now we have three of them, so we'll go ahead and define them. So the first one was DIST for distance. So we can specify a test, fail that can, test value that can be used when we test out the response here in the studio. We'll have a return count variable. This is we'll specify how many rows to return. And then a zip code parameter. This is the zip code that we're going to be um, pulling back doctors for. Now, once I've specified all of those, I'll go back to my service definition and I'll hit the get response. This will call that service and return, based on the input parameters, um, a collection of data. Now you can see it's returned um, a large group of data. Every one of these rows, as you can see, has a lot of parameters in it. Now naturally, when you're building out your mobile application, you may not require the use of all of these parameters every time a service call is being made. So within the Kony Studio, in the output parameters, you have the capabilities of just pulling out of that raw service response what you need and delivering that data back to the application. So what you want to do here is create, in a sense, a collection of all the rows that are here, where each row has the corresponding data. So what we're returning, let's say, is providers. Now, the parent node that's, that holds all of these rows is the web service results record, or node. So we'll define that as kind of being our parent node that holds all the data. Now, we want to look at each individual row, which is the list of locations element, 
and pull out some of the just specific information we need that are part or are owned by this higher level record or a higher level node. So we're going to create, pull out the business name, right? And we'll get to that by going to the list of locations slash business name. And we're going to assign this back to that provider's uh, collection. Okay, we'll go ahead and test. There was an error, so let's go back and take a peek what we did. This application's business name, web service result. Oh, providers. Test that again, and there we go. We can format it right here within the test area. And you can see now I'm pulling back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows, and the corresponding business name for each of those. Now I can also go through and, and pull out additional information. We can grab the telephone number. Which also is in that same telephone number, and again, pass it to this larger uh, collection. And test the results. And you can see now we're pulling back the business name and the telephone parameters for each row that's in there. When you're done, now naturally you can create and pull as many or as few elements of data um, from the service response that you want to bring back to the device. Once you've pulled out all of the parameters that you need, you'll go ahead and generate the service definition, and then you'll publish that service to your Kony server. Now that service will be accessible um, within the Kony Studio when you're building out your application. Thanks again for joining the Kony One version 5.0 introductory series.